and there's a house. So exciting. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name's Allie. I'm going to show you around our new house. We live on base housing at F.E. Warren. We just moved here, I think, like two weeks ago, and we just moved into our house. We've slept here for two nights now. So, today is the third day of having our house. We don't have our household goods yet. If you're a military spouse or military family or you know anything like that, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so if you're moving to F.E. Warren and you're going to be living on base and you just kind of want an idea of what the housing looks like here, um, not all houses look exactly the same. It depends on where they put you. So just a side note for that. But if you just happen to get a house like ours, then stay tuned and you can get a sneak peek of what it looks like. Also beware, we don't have our household goods. So our house is very sparse. A, it's a little on the messy side because we don't have any of our storage stuff yet. So bear with me on that. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you wanna keep in touch with me and my family. So, let's go. Okay, so I know the sound quality is probably terrible in here, but since I'm not gonna go outside, um, so I just wanna show you, this is like the front door. This is when you first walk in the house, there's like a little window on one side little peephole just so you don't have you know, don't open the door for any weirdies so flipping the camera okay so front door right here and then <laughs> there's my little babies so this is like a secondary door so front door this is just a small walk-in area it's really hard to get like a good view in here so I'm gonna open up Hello guys, can I come in? So let me shut this door. Okay, so when you first walk in, in front of you is just this nice little hallway. To your right is this, um, I guess, office slash playroom area if you have kids. It's a nice place to just, you know, put whatever your heart desires. And then if you come back this way and to your left, so right here is a half bath. So, okay, uh, small sink, toilet, you know, nothing too special in here, just a small bathroom. Then we have this closet. We're probably gonna use this for like coats and boots winter stuff, some storage, shoes, and it's nice and spacious, so absolutely love that. And then this door, which, so bathroom, closet, this door right in front is going to take you to the garage. And it is a nice, big garage. Super, super spacious, it's clean, nice, concrete floors hello okay let's come back in all right so you come around this corner and then it's my child <laughs> so right here you have just this tiny little door and we're using this as a pantry i don't know what else it would probably be used for we have to put in a work order because our door is like too big for the doorway so it's really hard to open and close and here this is a part that i think is really cool ignore our vacuum right here in the middle but it is like an under the stairs small little place we're probably going to make it into kind of like our dog room 
maybe put up like a little baby gate here just so we can put Penny, our puppy, in there from time to time if we just kind of need her out of the way but don't want to like shut the door and shut her in here. Okay, and then this way is the kitchen. It's not a very big kitchen. Ignore the trash. Yeah, just ignore it. So the fridge, the stove, and the microwave all came with the um, kitchen. We didn't have to buy our own. It also has a dishwasher. We have a lot of stuff sitting up here at the moment, but this is kind of like a little bar stool. You can see it better here, but it's just like a little bar stool area. And then right here is considered like the dining room. Um, I eventually am going to temporarily replace that boob light. Let me fix the lighting. It's not the best at adjusting. I'll have to get the use of it. And then turn this way and this is the actual living room area. So my husband's lawn chair is all we have to sit on at the moment. I made Carter just like her little area to sit and hang out. We just bought this cheap little bookshelf stand, whatever, from Target yesterday. And then we bought this baby gate also from Target. It is really cute, but I don't, if you're gonna be opening it constantly, I don't suggest it. What are you doing? Oh, you've got Penny's thing. Thank you, that's really gross. Come here. Come here. I'm doing my house tour thing, so I'll be back. Oh. Over the baby gate and up the stairs. There's a small landing, really high ceilings up here. Not a fan of that light, but it is what it is. So you'll see these doors and then to the left. We'll take you in the master bedroom first. So it's a mess kind of ignore that. We're on a blow up mattress right now, but ceiling fan, nice windows, lots of light. And then this is the his and hers bathroom. So counters, nothing special. These drawers don't open. They're not actually drawers, but the cabinets are really deep and spacious. So there's that. We are honestly probably going to get like a shower curtain just to cover up the shower because it's not that cute. And then just when we have to open the door because it opens like this. So we're probably just going to get a small shower curtain and just pull it to the side when we use it. Toilet, nothing really to go in depth about there. Back around this way and you have a walk-in closet. Just some nice shelves, plenty of space, another window there. And that's all for the master bedroom. So going back out this way, so this would be back to the top of the stairs, this door. Open it, and this is most likely just gonna be our daughter's bathroom. It's got one sink. I don't know why they didn't center this, but it is what it is. This is just the hardware for our baby gate that's gonna go at the top of the stairs. But nice big mirror. This side one opens up. Yeah. Toilet, shower. Once again, nothing special, just a basic shower. There's Carter and Dada coming up the stairs. Okay, and then these double doors are where the washer and dryer is supposed to go. We just don't have any yet. And then, so backing up, washer dryer. There's a door there and another door. I'll take you in the open door just because it's open. This is going to be my daughter Carter's room. It's the bigger of the two non-master bedrooms. And then she doesn't have a walk-in closet, but it's a pretty big double door closet. Just some basic stuff. 
back out this way and this is going to be probably just a guest room for us we don't have anything in here at the moment but it's smaller just double window and then a smaller closet so yep and that's about it okay so that's the closet i just showed you and then going back downstairs i think the last thing to show oh no i didn't so missed this i have to move that so this is just like a linen closet or at least that's what we're going to use it for towels blankets extra stuff will go in there so this house definitely has plenty of storage and back downstairs And then this is back to living room, dining room, and then this is the door to take you to the backyard. So you have this decently sized patio. It doesn't have any like awning over it, but it stays in the shade pretty much all day. There's Penny. But yeah, it's not the biggest yard, but it's big enough for us. Just nice and fenced in. And then I can show you guys the back of the house. So they have obviously like a bunch of different colored ones, but they're all exactly the same. And then, so it splits. And on the other side is somebody else's yard. So the houses are connected through there but we have yet to hear our neighbors so i think the walls are nice and thick no issues with that so far but yeah so that is the whole house um other than showing you like the front of the house side note it is very windy and show you back inside buggy say all right that was our whole house say thank you for watching